The Strata Florida project is a dream that I've had for 20 years. It's almost to the day, 20 years. And I sat here thinking, what could we use these old buildings for? The Strata Florida Trust actually asked us for some help a couple of years ago and we did a feasibility study telling them what we thought the options were for the reuse of this farm. At the time, they didn't own the property and, and, and we'd said to them, look, before we do anything, before any, anybody can do anything here, you're going to have to buy the farm. They bought the farm and they came back and said, right, we've done what you said, what's next? What we're going to do is try and create something called the Strata Florida Centre. We're going to conserve all these buildings here and we are going to convert them to usage. And it's going to be about education, it's going to be about research, it's going to be about visitors, we'll increase the, the, the visitor size, we'll increase the nature of the story. We'll be telling 4,000 years of history here because that's what this site actually represents. Strata Florida was founded under the patronage of the Lord Fris of De Hebart. We now think that he put it here for it to be effectively the Westminster Abbey. And if you think of Westminster Abbey in the 11th, 12th and 13th centuries, direct contemporary of his, it was the administrative centre of the feudal state of England. So really, we're putting it up in that category. Prince Charles is very, very passionate about um, Welsh history and heritage, and in particular, the story of Strata Florida. So he's mandated us to, uh, to do what we can to help Strata Florida Trust. We know about the Abbey. We know how important it was in Welsh culture and Welsh history during the Middle Ages, but we never knew how big it was. At 126 acres, it is the largest Cistercian Abbey in the United Kingdom by area, which is sensational. But underneath it, we're pretty certain now, there's a Celtic monastery, which brought the Cistercians here in the first place. And underneath all of that, there's prehistory. We think we sit in a sacred valley, going back to the beginning of the Bronze Age, 4,000 years ago. And of course, after the Abbey as well, there is the house itself. Uh, in, almost immediately after the dissolution in 1539, the land and the Abbey ruins were acquired by the Stedman family, who made a mansion of all of this. And this is the building here, is the legacy of that. We are starting the first real building works on site to get ourselves ready to start restoring the first of our buildings, which is the Beatty which was an old cow shed uh, and that's going to be turned into offices for the trust but also a place where we can have a permanent exhibition up to show the general public how it is we're developing this. It's a four-month project. We've got to be mindful of the original features. We are using more traditional methods with the, the lime mortars and things. We also are very mindful of the when we carry out timber repairs to, to keep as much of the original timbers as, as possible. It is a different procedure to, than, than a new build. When the abbey was taken down in sort of the 1600s, when the Reformation went on and the abbey was flattened, then up sprung the house and the threshing barn and the stables and, the, and later on the baby. So to have um, buildings which are lined with this stone which is from the abbey is quite nice because it adds architectural interest to the buildings then because at the end of the day it is uh, they're only stables and, and barns and there's uh, quite a few of them laced around Wales but perhaps not made from abbeys. Started the preparation to carry out the timber repairs and then we will sort the slates out and reuse as many as we can. Uh, once we've got the timbers repaired, we'll um, refelt and batten and, uh, and re-slate the roof. Timaur is one of the biggest lime mix suppliers in the whole of Wales, definitely, in the whole of the UK even. And they're going to carry out what's called a dissolution test for me on the lime sample from the Beatty in Strata, Florida. Yeah. So we're looking at something that needs to replicate what we've got. Yeah. Um, that looks like a great match, if I'm honest. It, uh, it really does. I think it, um, that, that, that's reasonably close. You obviously need to make these things so that aesthetically they, they blend in and they look, mm. look sympathetic. But technically we need to be achieving the right thing 
for the building. The interesting thing about the Beatty is a few weeks ago we excavated a hole in the middle of the yard and we found the main water supply for the Abbey and that's in a stone lines channel um, and it would have carried water across um, a range of buildings and that's un actually running underneath the Beatty, it runs underneath the cow shed. We have to make sure everything we do um, we take care of the archaeology that's underneath the ground. The progress on site, which is mostly what's happening behind me here, um, is really quite extraordinary. The whole business of us revitalising and re-energising this uh, in terms of the Cistercians is fantastic. It's a great building, you know, these babies that, uh, that, still, that still exist all around the place. They have great history to them, they have a warmth and because they're generally quite small, low roofs, nice and tight, and they have wonderful light because all these wonderful doorways bring in the light, so they, they're great for adaptation. The building, I think, is absolutely outstanding. Very, very high value, uh, high quality conservation. Uh, it's, and looking around me, uh, every single stone still tells its story. So it's extraordinary. The design is perfect. And then outside, it looks like a proper baby. Uh, it looks like it, what it always was when it was first put up in the late 1870s. There's a deep spirituality to the place that, that locks straight into my emotions and I know locks into the emotions of most people who visit here and particularly Welsh people. There is a powerful hiraith. This place just generates it. <laughs>